Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Cooking at Large. That's right, you guys keep tuning in, I'll keep making this shit. If you want me to stop, somebody find me a job. So, what we're going to have is... We're going to call this the Parfait Mediterranean Delight. Low in carbs, high in taste. That's right. So, what we're going to need is... Some chicken breasts, some fresh mozzarella. We're also going to need some prosciutto, or prosciutto, or presumed. Depends on where you're from. We're going to need some lettuce. We're going to need some tomatoes. Some olive oil. Some cooking wine. Salt, pepper. Onion powder. And garlic powder. It is actually garlic powder. White vinegar. Hot sauce. Don't tell my wife. Some Kalamata olives. Ooh, Kalamata olives. A red pepper. Some burrito wraps. Soft burrito wraps. A small sandwich bag. I'll show you what that's for in a minute. Aluminum foil. Some mayonnaise. Now I was trying to find some garlic mayonnaise that I had in Europe, and it was damn good. They don't sell that here, so uh, we'll go with this mayonnaise. Of course, a good knife. Nice sharp knife. Cutting board. Oh yeah, you're gonna need a toaster oven, and a stovetop. I'm going to need one of these too. Okay, first step. Take your chicken breasts. And you're going to cut it up into strips. So they cook pretty quick. So that's it. You have a few pieces. This will do about two wraps. Because guess who I got today? She's off camera, but I got Mrs. Large with me today. So the next step you're going to need is you're going to need your sandwich bag. Now, why do you need a sandwich bag? I'll show you. You're going to take the chicken and you're going to put the chicken in the sandwich bag. Now you're going to do a quick brine on this. You're going to need pepper, about six and a half shakes. You're going to need salt, 3.75 shakes. You're going to need the garlic powder, about a teaspoon of that. You're going to need the onion powder, about a tablespoon of that. Next thing you need is the white vinegar. I'm going to put two tablespoons in here. And then, don't forget the hot sauce. Now you very, want to be very conservative with the hot sauce. Don't put too much in there. Whoops. I'm going to need a little bit of olive oil. Just put a little bit of olive oil, just so it coats it up. And the secret ingredient... Mm -mm. We're going to need one of these. We're not going to drink it. We're going to put it in there. Now what you should come up with is a nice little lab experiment. So you got this right here. So this is your light brine. Now, you should let this marinate for about an hour. Yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do for an hour. Alright, we're back. 
It hasn't been quite an hour yet. It's been about a half an hour. So we're going to let that set for a little bit. We're going to take our red pepper. Now once you've cleaned your red pepper, now we can take it and just cut it into strips. Long strips. Now we're going to take our aluminum foil, take a bit of that, and what we're going to do is we're going to make a little tray. Once we got a tray made, I'm going to take a little cooking spray and just spray the tray. I'm going to take our peppers and just lay them out on the tray. Now that you've got them laid out in the tray, we'll leave that in the toaster oven at 400 degrees for about 15 minutes which gives us a little bit more time to brine and marinate. It smells good. Back in a few. Okay guys, ready for our next step? We're gonna take the bag, the marinated bag, and we're gonna put it on the stove. Now, I already got my pan heating up. I'm going to carefully put that in there. Now, this is going to cook extremely quickly, so you have to keep an eye out. we got about five minutes left in our roasted red peppers. And what we're going to do is just make sure this is cooked thoroughly on both sides. guys the peppers just did and it looks like it's perfect timing because this looks like it's done as well shut this heat off and let's see the peppers peppers look like they're done so on to the next step all right, guys, final stretch. Here we go. You're going to take your mayo. You're going to sp spread it out depending on your taste. If you want more or less mayo, that's up to you. So mayo. Then add your chicken. Add some of the roasted red pepper. Then you want to add some of the fresh mozzarella. Again, taste depending. Do you want more? Do you want less? You want to give some to the dog? And what I like to do. So I'd like to add just a slice of prosciutto on top. Prosciutto's good. You want to take a little bit of your salad. Now I got spring mix here. And some tomatoes. All right, and lastly, what you want to do is you want to put your calamatas right on top. So that's it. You got your chicken, your roasted red peppers, your prosciutto, lettuce, tomato, calamatas, and the mayo. Now 
Make your rep. And that's what you end up with. Check that out. Low carb. Just got the rat to worry about. Alright guys, that's it for cooking at large. Hope you enjoyed this episode because I'm going to enjoy eating the heck out of this thing. Uh, for all of us here, big salute to the troops. Please recycle and reuse. Peace out. Mediterranean delight. It, it. I forgot to turn on the fucking microphone. God damn it. <laughs> Shut up. Good for the carbs. Good on taste.